My Carbon Credits is a photographic project in response to the official carbon credits that were invented with the Kyoto Protocol and the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Carbon credits are subject to the emissions trading also known as the carbon market. Usual reforestation projects transform the carbon dioxide sequestration of trees into a tradable carbon credit. This commodification process is a financial invention that is re-evaluated by my force farm. My carbon credits project criticizes the conventional carbon credit marketing strategies and the illusions that they generate. The official validation for certified carbon offset projects is a cost-intensive process. High expenses are due to the involvement of experts in commissioning fees for certifying bodies. This put ecological, biodiverse, small-scale reforestation projects at a disadvantage in favor of less ecological, large-scale, monoculture developments. My forest farm calls attention to this imbalance with artistic means. Here is our cassoy number one. What do we see on this photo? We see the tree exposed to sunlight. That means the tree is in the process of photosynthesis. The tree is transforming carbon dioxide into oxygen and biomass while this photo was taken. The physical relation between light and the tree results in carbon dioxide sequestration. In analogy to that, the physical relation between light and the tree results in an photographic process that transforms the tree into an image. This parallel between carbon dioxide sequestration and image creation is basic for the artistic concept of my carbon credits. The light of the tree is captured in this camera. The light gets absorbed by the sensor. And our cassoy number one is transformed into a digital file on this SD memory card. After the download you can see now the cassoy number one in the directory on Dirk's computer. Dirk burnt all tree image files, one by one, on separate compact disks. The tree data is visible to the naked eye and the location of the digital cassoy number one can be identified as a ring at the center of the CD. Dirk Fleischmann made macroscopic photos of the CD surface, where the digital tree can be visually traced. He used this camera to make the digital tree visible. If you zoom into the CD, you can see this. This is now a photo of the digital cassoy number one. Both photos refer to the cassoy number one. This image comes from cassoy number one. It is physically related to the actual tree, as I showed you the physical journey of the digital image from the mountain into the CD. Also this image comes from cassoy number one. It is physically related to the tree and its carbon dioxide sequestrating photosynthesis as well. The title of this photo is My Carbon Credits Cassoy Number 1. It is a series of 1,838 photos. There are 1,838 trees on my forest farm. Hence there are 1,838 photos of trees and 1,838 different CDs with the photos of trees in. Let me summarize the intentions with this project. My forest farm is not delegating the approval of the quality standard of the project activity to certifying bodies. Instead my forest farm is suggesting its own validation method. My forest farm invites you to evaluate the project. This means my forest farm delegates agency to the beholder. The conceptual core of my carbon credits lies in the transformation of the real life tree into an alternate, material, form. The latter can be considered a symbol for the carbon dioxide sequestration process in relation to the usual commodification resulting from the carbon credit system. In financial terms, a carbon credit is a tradable commodity that represents a certain amount of carbon dioxide removed from the atmosphere. While its title directly refers to the topic, the project takes a lateral approach. It is creating a reciprocal relation between the geographic mapping of the real-life trees and the materiality of their digital proxies. My forest farm is following its own paradigms and it is challenging the existing carbon offset business models with artistic means. 
the promotion of the project depends on meaning instead of marketing. Thought instead of speculation.